all right guys good morning and welcome back all right so i believe by now most of us must have watched the video on the trouser cutting of a female scrub now this is going to be the top so all you need to do here is to know what and what you are to um, measure you have to measure your customer's shoulder measurement, the bust measurement in the case of the female. For the case of the male, you measure the chest, then you continue with the regular other areas, which are the sleeve length, the round sleeve, the neck, circumference, and lastly, the top length. Now, if you want to get more detailing for the female aspect, you can measure the shoulder to bust, shoulder to shape, but then, if you didn't measure this, you can still go ahead to draft it with your conventional size measurement charts. And then, you will still get a perfect answer. But then, bear in mind that this measurement should not be a fitted measurement. It should be a free measurement on your customer. Not too free and not too tight. Because this is going to be their office wear at the hospital in the lab or wherever they are working and you should be free enough to give them ease for free movements and comfortability so having said that now let us proceed with the drafting purposes so now with this our um the style we are going to make we have a band like v neck cutting at the front then the back would be a regular back panel but then we are not going to um, bother about the V right now. We are going to drop the regular run neck and then I will show you guys how to get the V. So having said that, now the first thing you need to do is to apply your four inches here. The four inches serves for the folding or the hemming of the top, which is not part of your top length. So you mark four inches here. So you now apply the top length, which I have a top length of um, 30. Though they gave me 28, but I'm doing 30. So I have a top length of 30 inches. Then I will mark my top length this way. I will also cross check if they, I will mark it again. That will have a double marking here. Then the next you will do now is you connect this point together. And then after which you get your armhole. So, which the formula for armhole for my customer is both over 4 minus 1. So, um, the armhole I will use here is armhole of um, 9 inches. Let's use 9. Then, because, uh, okay, let's use 8. I want, to be, I want it to be best fitted, right? Then, the um, shoulder to bust I have is a shoulder to bust measurement of 10.5 this way. And then shoulder to shape I have is a shoulder to shape of 17 inches. This is what I have. Then you extend the lines as shown. This is the shape or the half length, what they call the half length or the shape. And then this is the bust point, shoulder to bust this way. And then this one is the armhole. But the armhole will not be drawn all across to stop midpoint the line. So you have the shoulder line armhole line, bust line, and shape line, and of course, your hem or the folding line. So the next you will do is to apply your bust measurement, which I have it to be 40, right? 40 bust measurement, which is um, 10.5, this way. And the extra one I have is enough, this way. And then the shape, that the navel I have is 34. Let's use 36, that's 9. Let's use 36, that's 9, this way extra one and a half this way and then for the side slit opening from your um, armhole you measure 17 to 16 inches i have 16 inches this way for the side slit opening and then you are to still apply the hip measurement at this point but then i will okay hip is 42 so I'll 42 here extra one and a half for one so i'm okay with this then you connect these lines as shown now, the reason I am drawing or marking the double lines is for you to see the real measurements and the seam allowances added, right? Normally, I don't add or I don't mark the real measurements and this differently. 
I will mark only the similar ones line and this is the shape I have then after that the next you will do is to get your shoulder the shoulder we have is 16 by 2 is 8 then add half to it for the sleeve joining you have 8 and half this way mark the same sleeve on the armhole but for perfection's sake I will minus 1 and half inches from there so um, I will have to mark it at 7.5 let's mark, let's mark at 7.5 or seven three quarter this way and then taking the shoulder point to this form and then with the help of my arm hook off with the help of my arm hook off or your pattern master you are going to have your arm hook off let me bring it my arm hook off so you you are going to position it in this form this way and connect as shown and then the next you will do is to slope the shoulder by two inches it's okay for me two inches that way and then connect it back to your neckline point so your 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 slope your arm hook of can actually go in by half an inch a little bit this way and then come in this direction then after this the next you will do is to get your neck which the neck they gave me is um, 15 so I would just use a regular neckline marking of um, 2.5 inches width this way by 3 right so actually um, it's just going to give us a, a little bit free neck so natural necklines is 2.5 inches width by 3 inches depth so you will mark this way and then connect your line as shown this way so i will cut out this and then i will first and foremost cut the back before i cut the v neck line for my front panel it will be easier for you to draft out the back panel first before you go over drafting the um v, v cutting right so just cut out the front panel don't mistakenly cut out the same allowances so you need to cut be careful on the line you are cutting from right so cut the one that you have your seam allowances added and not the one that has only your rib bust or hip measurements so this is the shape of the scrub so i will now mark the back so what you will do next as well is to fold this in this form First, fold it out in this one as well and then place your material on top this way just place it in this form and then you are to adjust this adjust this as well until you have a perfect matching or placement just take your time adjust properly this way and then the next you will do here is to lap it properly this way so lap it properly this way and then you now raise the back the back piece neckline by 2.5 inches and then two inches this way right then take your stretch through and then connect in this form and then slope out the neckline in a sloppy form half an inch more slope than the front neck and then come down by 1.5 with the help of your arm hook of you can connect as shown this way and then you proceed to cut the back neck this way and then after you must have done this you also make sure you cut the shoulder area very nice make it to be so effective so that you don't have excesses on the shoulder point so cut out as well nicely in this form cut in this form as well and then cut out here as well then you are to bend or fold the back panel to come in front 
this way then after this you are to trim out any excesses on your armhole area and then the next you also do is to also trim out any excesses on the front neckline the the neckline of the bag that coin that came to the front so you must trim out any excesses that is protruding at this edge so this is how it is then after this the next you will do now is to of course cut your sleeves but then before we go to the sleeve i want to show us how to get the v like neckline cutting which we are going to use band to replace so all you need to do now is to determine the extent of the width of the band you want to have so the width of the band i want to have is one inch width right so you mark one inch width at this point this way and then determine the depth usually the depth of our normal opening is six inches so i will go in that i will go down by one and a half inch extra so that's 7.5 or let's, let's do seven seven right seven that's one in lower than the normal neck then i will slope this outrightly from here this way now i am going to cut out this now bear in mind that the band that you must replace here must be one inch width but in cutting i will cut the band to be at um, three inches so by the time i fold i'll have it to be 1.5 the half inch that is extra is going to be used to attach this to the body of the outfit but then in cutting this section this v point don't just cut the v on its own you are going to mark half an inch or quarter inch this way quarter inch off this way and then make a v notching from here somewhere here and go down to that point and then cut out this cut out this this way cut out this very straight your hand must be straight here cut out this so this half inch here is going to be used to attach the band back and then when you open it up you have it to come out in this form so the band is going to come one inch on both ends and it will be tucked underneath this when you must have sewn so i will show us how to do this then you can now go ahead to cut your back facing be in mind that this um, band cutting is only done on the front panel the back panel will not be affected right so leave the back panel to be a natural neckline but you must have cut the back panel first before you slit out your band like measurements so let's go ahead to cut the back facing and as well the sleeves as well so i will just fold this material this way and then try to see where okay the back facing can come out from here so let's pick here for our back facing measurement so you just need to fold this panel this way and then take the back piece place it two inches higher than the armhole very important this way and then you make sure it laps properly and then you can now cut out from here and then once you are cutting out you make sure as well it goes with exercise of the back panel this way so you can decide to make it v or straight i like having a v facing it gives me more perfect fitting at the back so also don't forget to mark differentiate the front and the back with your chalk so that you don't forget this when stitching now for the sleeve we're going to have a regular sleeve if you can if you still want to have a turn up sleeve there's still no problem you can go ahead and have a turn up sleeve and then we are going to fold the fabric again in this form and then trying to cut out the rough edges at the hem trying to cut out the rough edge just cut it out make sure it's coming out properly this way 
and then the next you will do now is to fold for your sleeve so i will just take one edge i think i'm taking this edge that has this rough part all right so be careful of the inner material so that you don't end up having a shortage of fabric there so now this folding i am taking bearing from the deficit material inside so this folding of the facing all right we don't we still need to cut out our patch pockets and um, stuff so i think i will refold this to see where we can conserve material from in order to get other aspects of our sleeve right of our material so i will just fold it this way so for my sleeve now this folding is going to give us our um, sleeve normal sleeve there's no turn up on this sleeve there's no need for that then cut out uh, make sure you mark out your base in this form and then add to a half two and a half inches for the folding of the sleeve 2.5 this way then extend the line in this form and then sleeve length i have is nine so mark at nine eight and a half is the sleeve length plus half is nine plus sleeve i have is 14 mark at 14 extra one and a half and then extend the line to go straight this way and then come down from here by 3.5 and then take it out to the one and a half inch on the sleeve allowance and then move again in this direction and then from here you make a curve in this direction and then you're done with your sleeve you then cut out this way right and then cut this way don't forget that the folding of the sleeve is being determined by the bicep measurement over two plus extra um four to five inches so that's how i got the folding right so you have it in this form and then this is for the sleeve you mark the front and the back in this way yeah the front and the back and then after which the next you will cut now um, will be the band for your um, the v for the v-neck flap so how then do you get the band so all you need to do now is to bring the front panel bring the front panel so you just have to measure you have to measure right so you have to push your tape one and a half inch deeper than the part of the neck and then you have it to be eleven here so this is eleven and this is eleven as well so you will now cut you will now bring your material this way bring it I'm sorry, this way so fold in this form so measure a length of eleven a length of eleven now the width is three inches right three inches three inches by eleven you must measure your own to know what you are cutting so you mark out this and then cut out from here cut out from here as well cut out from here and then we are going to hem this with our hemming gum we're going to use hemming gum to fold this into two equal parts and hem it with hemming gum so we are done with the band for the v-neck so you keep it this way and then the next we are going to cut will be the um, combat pockets for the sides so we are going to cut all the pieces needed so first and foremost check the pieces of the fabric you have if you have anywhere the pocket can come out from before you encroach on the main fabric left so these are all pieces i'll keep it aside and then if you have um four pockets right two in front and then two on the trouser so i will just fold at once to get the four pockets cut out immediately so the sides eight inches is okay at the end of the fold you now fold one inch or half inch of both sides half 6.5 inch left so the length of the pocket will be um the depth will be eight so plus two ten plus one again eleven so just cut at twelve this way 12 inches then cut it out in this form so this will serve me for the um, side pockets for the trouser and as well for the 
front pockets for the top. You know, the top do have front pockets, right? So slits the one unfold this way. Slit the one unfold this way. And this is how it is, right? Then we are done with the bucket. So the next videos you'll be seeing now will be the videos for our gumming and possibly the stitching aspect of it. Stay tuned and don't forget to click on the subscribe button on the channel to have access to more videos. Thank you for watching.